So I, um, I realized that we're almost at the end of the month and that you probably I'm going to see a wrap up anytime soon and that I will probably not finish most of these books. We're still doing this video, so roll that intro. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about books and things. And the first thing we have to address is the fact that I've got glitter all over my face. I was trying to copy a look from one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Hannah Louise Poston. I will link her channel up here. She does beauty um, and style content which is not at all booktube content but I don't just watch booktube. Does anybody just watch booktube? I don't know. But anyway, I, I tried to copy one of her looks. It looked really cool and I ended up with glitter all over my face. So yeah. Also, yes, I have already read some of these books and well, you'll see in my wrap up which ones I like and which ones I want to throw at the wall. But I just want to tell you what I'm reading this month, even though we're almost done with the month. I just think that it's fun to know what to expect from me. So let's start with the top of the pile. I've got here Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Now this is the story. In my last, I think, video I said this was the story of a man named Algernon. It's not, it's not the story of a man named Algernon. It's the story of a mouse named Algernon who um, is experimented on and his, the, the mouse's IQ level rises and he thrives and he's like the smartest mouse in the world. So they decide to go from animal testing to human testing. So there's this uh, man named Charlie. Charlie has an IQ of 70 and they want to get him to another place. You know, they want to make him very intelligent. I use intelligent in quotations because what this book um, seems to bring to the table is that intellectual intelligence is only part of the component of what makes somebody intelligent in a way. And also it's you know, it's kind of sad. Like, I know that this is probably going to make me cry. So that's the first book that I plan to read. Not the, not, that's not the first book. This is one of the books that I plan to read this month. I'm just pulling them out of like the order that I put them in so that I, they wouldn't fall down when I was filming this video. I'm really excited for this book. I, I really am. Um, this is one of those sci-fi classics that everyone like through the board agrees is really really good also there's a movie about it well based off of uh, <laughs> based off on it based off it yeah based off it so i might include this in a book to movie at a uh, blind date adaptation project coming up sometime in the future i i, I don't know so yeah, Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. I'm really excited for it. The next book that I want to pick up this month, not the next book, one of the books. I'm just going to continue to say the next book, but just imagine that I'm saying the book. The, the, the book that I want to pick up this month is The Martian by Andy Weir. Now this is one of actually one of my favorite sci-fi movies. So I want to see how the book stacks up to the movie because I've heard, and this is one of the reasons why I stayed away from this book, that this book was actually um, very science heavy. So I'm looking forward to seeing how somebody like me who is very, very, very bad at science look like gets through this book. This is a story in case you don't know about Mark Watney. Mark Watney is a botanist who is sent to Mars to basically study the soil on Mars, you know, do science-y things. And through a series of misunfortunate? Unfortunate, misunfortunate, whatever, a series of really shitty events, Mark gets stranded on Mars and the idea is to save him. And what happens? How do we save him? Is he even able to be saved? By the way, did, is my contour a little intense? I'm sorry. I got the movie cover. It was actually a gift from one of my good booktube friends. Pulls over coffee, I believe. So I'm really looking forward to this. And it's, they, everybody says it's really funny and yeah. Um, I don't usually read funny books, but I think this is my style of funny. From from what I saw in the movie, Mark Watney makes me think of a male version of me. <laughs> Just like, you know, throwing F-bombs and not giving a shit. So, next up we have Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Now, this is the story of a group of people that grow up in like an, an idyllic, idyll I don't know 
if it's idyllic or idyllic, well, whatever, like a really wonderful place called Hilsham, Hilsham, I think that's the name. And um, the thing is, you quickly find out that these people are just basically organ donors. They're gonna grow up to become organ donors. And you know, you get to experience what that's like from their perspective. Also, when if you are not called for an organ donation, you also can become a carer for organ donors when you grow up. And it's about um, mostly Kathy. Kathy is one of the, the students and she's reminiscing about her time at Hailsham and how that shaped her as a human and especially her two friends Tommy and Ruth. And we follow them throughout their lives. Um, I've heard nothing but good things and it is going to be part of a book to movie adaptation project. I'm watching the movie actually today, the day that I'm filming this, so that means I've already read the book, but I won't tell you what I thought about it, just that um, I'm gonna read it this month. I know you're thinking, Monica, how many of these books have you read? The reality is I haven't read a lot, so a lot of this is probably not gonna get read, but I really want to get to The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. This is one of the ones that I'm most anticipating reading this year because the concept is just so wonderful it's about a planet where there are there is no gen, 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 gender i always sorry i always like in my head genre and gen, gender it's it's really hard to differentiate them but anyway there is no gender and they sent a human who has to deal with accepting how different these people are from what we're used to you know how how do we break those societal barriers how do we like understand this concept and i just think that this is amazing and i just i just i just want to get to this and if you saw this and also the one from kazo ishiguro and files for algernon was in that video that i posted i'll link it up here up here is it up here yeah i forget it's where my eye is <laughs> i'll link it up here where it's 105 sci-fi books that you should read and i actually think that that was a really good list i don't agree with every book but you know this was one of them and I got it and I really am looking forward to reading it. I've read Ursula K. Le Guin before. She's not my favorite author in terms of writing style, but I think this book is just, I think it's going to be amazing. Okay, let's, mm, mm. Continuing with the science fiction, I want to read Unwind by Neil Shusterman. I've wanted to read this book for ages and for me to pick up a YA you know this shit's gonna you know hit the fan but I remember when this was all the rage in book two back in the day this is about again organ donation there are kids that are basically brought what is it unwanted teenagers are salvaged for their body parts three runaways fight the system that would unwind them I really want to read this. I don't think it's going to be to the level of, you know, Kazuo Ishiguro's book, but I actually think that this has stuck around for a reason and I really want to I really want to read it. I really want to get to it. I I know this is a trilogy, so what I did instead of buying the whole trilogy is I bought the first one and if I enjoy it, I will continue on and it will be one of the series that I plan to finish this year. That's a video that I have to film. Listen, I have to film a lot of videos, but right now my time is so limited. I, I miss the days where I could just film and edit and upload like every single fucking day. But that's just not the reality for me right now. But anyway, um, I have some audiobooks and some Kindle books that I want to mention. And I want to keep the sci-fi trend going. So I'm going to mention Calling Major Tom. I don't remember the author. Do I have it here? I don't remember the author, but you're seeing the book right now. Now, what I gather from this book is there's this man who's basically the stereotypical, I'm better than everyone else. I want to just get away from Earth. I want to explore the galaxy. And then you have the people that are communicating with him. And I think uh, from what I've heard, this is a feel good sci-fi, just enjoyable story, you know, and it's funny and it's entertaining. And I think I'm reading a lot of like more intense books this month. Like I'm really, I'm reading on wine, the left hand of darkness, um, you know, flowers for Algernon. So I wanted some fun stuff to break it up and I found this book. I actually found it in my bookstore, but then I found it 
cheaper on Kindle and as you know I like reading on Kindle better so I'm gonna read that one I'm so excited for it and I think it's gonna be just a fun book to break up all the other more intense books that I have going on now 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 I have to shout out this user right here who told me that the chrysalids and again I don't remember the author's name so here is a little picture of the book um, was on YouTube so I want to try to squeeze this in into my reading I'm not sure I'm gonna get to it because I mean we have 10 days left and I have about 10 books left like unless I'm reading a book a day and ignoring everything else in my life I don't think I can get to them but most of but but this is one that I would like to start in January maybe finish in February um, this is the story about a world world where anything that you have that makes you different is something that is going to kill you so there are these two children who have special traits one of them has an extra uh, finger on her foot and the other one has psionic dreams and they've been able to like manage living in this world without too much drama but something happens and apparently a group of different people have to band together to avoid being basically killed by the government and that just sounds amazing and the cover for this book is mm, chef's kiss i love it if i love the book i will definitely be getting this cover of the book that you know you saw before i don't know i don't to keep the books here all of the time because I talk a lot with my hands and I feel like you miss out on my Monica-ness if I just keep the book there so I'll put it again there you go another book that I want to get to which is sci-fi ish is leave the world behind again I didn't write down the author names and I left my phone in my room so that it wouldn't bug the vid like go off during the video but here is the cover and this is the cover that i want and this is the cover that i'm going to get if i like this book now this book it to me it brings back memories of moon of the crusted snow i believe a family a well-to-do family go on a resort vacation and then suddenly the world just turns off like there is no electricity there is no mobile phones nothing and they don't know what's going on and they kind of have to navigate and survive this sounds really interesting but i saw that it had low scores in throughout the platforms that i trust the scores of which aren't very many because i don't really trust goodread scores like i don't but it sounds interesting, it sounds entertaining, and it sounds like something that I will really enjoy. Next up, I'm gonna just leave sci-fi behind for a moment, and I'm gonna talk to you about some non-sci-fi books that I plan to read. The first one is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I'm trying to get through Neil Gaiman, Gaiman's back catalog because here's the thing, you either love Neil Gaiman's writing or you don't like it at all and I'm the kind of person that really loves his writing I know this is not his most popular book but I just I the cover got me it was the cover it, the cover totally got me and I plan to listen to this on audiobook uh, or I don't know it it sounds like I want to curl up and read this book but I just don't have time guys I don't have time to do these things anymore but I I don't know um, I actually have no idea what this book is about um, I know that it's probably gonna take a while for me to figure it out because that is just Neil Gaiman's writing style it just takes you a while to figure out what really is going on but you know me I like to go into books a little bit in the dark per se and yeah if you have read this because i know that this is a bit of an older and title and i know that like last year everyone was reading it if you've read it please comment down below and tell me if you think i will like it finally we have another book that i absolutely know nothing about and that is Piranesi by Susanna Clark. Now this was gifted to me by the lovely Lena at Sufficiently Advanced Lena. Link will be up above. I have no idea what this book is about and I don't want to know what, the, what this book is about because I've heard that that is the best way to go into this book. So I just know that it's kind of fantasy and it's it's like weird and spellbinding and you know as much as I like to read sci-fi and definitely enjoy sci-fi much more, sorry like things fell out of it 
and definitely enjoy sci-fi much more than I enjoy fantasy. Sometimes when fantasy is done right in 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 Monica Ville, like not I, I don't know what I'm talking about, you know, I'm just a girl that likes to read books. I'm not a girl, I'm a woman, but you know, you get it, you get it. I'm sorry, I fucked up. But anyway, um when it's done really well for me, I really, really appreciate it. So this is one of the books that I want to read this month. <laughs> Are you are you catching on to the fact that I'm probably not gonna read like anything this month? It's it's really bad. Um, then there are two more books that I would like to get to. The first one is Silver in the Wood, which again over here forgot the author's name. I'm so bad. I'm sorry. I should have prepared better for this video, but I didn't. I was worried about my makeup <laughs> so silver in the wood i've had this on my kindle for a while i've heard that it's got lgbtqia plus representation i'm not sure if that's true that's kind of what i've heard and i also know that it's kind of like a woods like i love id i love it when like cities are in the edge of the woods and the woods like somebody either goes in the woods or the woods comes into the city like i love stories like that and i feel that this is gonna give me that so that is all i know about this book i bought it last year and i'm really trying hard not to buy so many books and get through my extensive amount of books that i have to read like my physical tbr even if i read them in audio i want to get through my physical tbr and the last one that i have in here is kind of a wild card and it's earth eater and i believe that this is by a latine author i have no idea what this is about but i saw it i saw the cover oh, oh i think it's about is it pika or pika I don't remember, I'm so sorry, I don't remember the pronunciation for, for it, but it's when somebody starts to eat things that they're not supposed to. There's a great movie about that, it's called Swallow, but trigger warnings for abortion in that movie. It's, it, I'm sorry if that's uh, something that um, spoils the movie, but I, I just feel that it's very important for you to go into it knowing that. But um, this person um, starts eating dirt basically and usually pika not usually you well yeah usually pika has a lot to do with control and losing control of yourself and losing your self-identity and i just saw this on my script and i was like you know what we're gonna give this book a chance so with that being said that is a total of 11 books that i need to read in the next 10 days is it gonna happen? Unlikely. But I do think that I'm gonna roll over these books into February because I wasn't reading some for a really long time and now I'm just getting out of it. So if you see in February a lot of repeated books, I am not sorry. <laughs> I am not. It's just, that's just, just the way the cookie crumbles. But anyway, thank you for sitting through this. Thank you for sitting through my madness. Thank you for sitting through my somewhat um, I'm gonna call it somewhat successful makeup and without any further ado, I bid you adieu and I remind you that I post on a weekly basis. Sometimes I post two week times a week, one time a week, three times a week, but definitely on a weekly basis and that I appreciate each and every single one of you and that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye-bye guys. I love that. What was that? I don't know. Bye-bye. <laughs>